he would get canceled immediately if that show is still on. Mm. Yeah. Only 10 likes. Thank you, Strange Marvel Theories. Okay. So this is according to Small Screen, who might be reporting from Giant Freak Robot. Who knows? Um, I really hope they go with Sam Raimi again. After watching Doctor Strange 2 again, I really think it's a well done movie. Love that movie. And I did I that's another one that had to grow on me. I saw it the first time. I was like, okay. I, I feel like it's movie. a bit of a sleeper. It's a really yeah. good movie. Sam Raimi is reportedly the top choice to direct Avengers Secret Wars. Oh, wow. Interesting. Uh, let me see. Let me get to the... Let's dive deep into the weeds of the story. There are reports via World of Real and CBR, okay, suggesting that Sam Raimi is Marvel Studios' top choice to helm Avengers Secret Wars. This news come from previous speculation of May, which linked Raimi along with Black Panther director Ryan Coogler and MCU Spider-Man director John Watts to the project. Historically, the Russo brothers have been at the helm of the previous Avengers movies, making this potential shift a significant one for the franchise. Uh, he, if it's ac if this rumor is accurate, he's also worked on the multiverse already in the MCU with somewhat Ooh. success with the scenes with um, Miserable Man. Um, who else was in there? Um, the other, you know, uh, Xavier. Oh um, yeah, Mister Fantastic and all that. Yeah. Yeah, so he's already done that mm -hmm. with with some success, and I I I hope this is accurate, and I want to see more Sam Raimi uh, superhero movies, especially one that he gets to develop from the ground up. That would be really nice. Doctor Strange got him back into uh, big blockbuster movies, which he still he was still making movies. Mm -hmm. But he hasn't been in it like he had since Spider-Man 3, right? Yeah, which was a bad experience from right, what I read. Right. Yeah. Um, I but would like to see Spider-Man movies are almost perfect. Like yeah. he was wonderful in them. I would like to see what he could do from the ground up with a new superhero movie from the start, from the get-go. I'm all for him. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, because that's an amazing if you really think about how quick he had to go on board for that and this the relative su success that that movie had i think also even though doctor strange 2 is here's my speculation i think it's more likely now that i'm thinking about it where doctor strange 2 ended up based on how quickly they had to find a new director after the first one left and how fast it still went into production and released. It might have been delayed slightly, but mm -hmm. relatively fast. I think that is why you definitely go with Sam Raimi. And how often does that work, right? Right, because of other Hollywood disaster stories of when a director was replaced Solo. at the last minute. <laughs> right. Right? Solo, for example. The success even in the box it. office that it got, and I'm pretty sure even though it had spider you know, did it have Spider-Man in it too a little bit? I don't know. No. No, no, it, no it was that. just linked to Spider-Man, right? Right, in a way. Um, I, I, I think that can be, Witch. yeah, I think that I think the success of that and how much more money it made over Doctor Strange one, I'm pretty sure uh, that is a huge increase, I believe, until I do the research. I, I think it is. I, it, how much did Doctor Strange do? Now I'm curious. Didn't it hit uh, like 750 or so or eight? Hang on. Or did it make a billion? Hang on. Sure. No, it was under a billion, but I think it got at least 800 million worldwide. Oh, wow. Woo! Here we go. I didn't realize it made this much. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Go with Sam Raimi. Look at this. I thought it was 800. Look at this. Look at this, Voltaire. Mm. I don't see why you don't go with him. Okay. Well, see, close Almost to a billion. A billion. Oh, yeah. Very okay. close. Yeah. That's really not that, and 
the studios don't ignore that despite popular especially <laughs> where this end started and where it ended up yeah that is ridiculous and look i honestly think that's a better movie than the than the the first doctor strange um it's 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 a great film the the guy has a track record those first two spider-man movies were excellent there's no reason not to put him on a project like this mm -hmm. i am going to see evil dead shortly i've seen clips of it i haven't finished it uh, i haven't seen drag me to hockey sticks no <laughs> and i haven't seen simple plan though did you ever see army of darkness i've seen parts of it yeah i i'm going getting in the horror i actually got halloween on vhs i'm going to do a review yeah, the army Halloween. of darkness is and then right. i yeah and then i want to i want to get into some horror vhs including the thing mm. and uh yeah the whole evil dead series mm-hmm uh, but I, I am actually shocked by this. I think, yes, you get Sam Raimi and yeah. MCU needs him right now. MC and he's a good mix of practical and CGI is another reason you go with Raimi. Mm. He could he can accomplish that a lot better than most directors in the MCU right now is a mix Absolutely. of practical and CG. Yeah. And I love uh, that. By the way. That's my favorite thing. Is when they mix the two, you know. Now that's if he wants to do it. I don't know if he wants to do it or not. You would think if he said okay to take over for Doctor Strange two, that it wasn't just the one and done, right? I'm sure, he had a good experience on it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Watch Army of Darkness first, really. I would agree with that. Really, it's a better movie, and it references the other movie. I mean, honestly, I think Army of Darkness kind of tells you everything. That you need to know mm -hmm. and it's more fun and it's more your your speed as uh as a non-horror fan or a horror hater really mm -hmm. so this is it's see, barely a horror I, movie. See, I wanted to start with the, the thing that's hardest for me to get into and then end with my most accessible like then i'll be at, like a big party by the time i get the army of darkness review <laughs> All right. Well, that was, my, that was my that was the way I was gonna tackle it. As like, I'm gonna start the most challenging for me, and then go all the way. You know, right. I don't know. Uh, no, don't watch Pizza Papa. Pizza Papa. Oh, that's from Doctor Strange. Is that from <laughs> Doctor Strange? Yeah, I think so. I didn't like that at first. I didn't like uh, Bruce Campbell's cameo in it at first, and then I watched again. I, I like. <laughs> That was a, that was for for Sam Raimi fans like yeah. Evil Dead fans. Um, his involvement in Doctor Strange came after the original director Scott Derrickson parted ways due to creative differences, leading to multiple script rewrites. Uh, and during the pandemic, and he's still wow, really a lot of stuff stacking against him. He's a consummate professional. Mm. And the other thing, you don't hear him on social media, you know, too much. He just does this thing and you know um Raimi's potential involvement in Secret Wars could hint at a significant role for Doctor Strange in the upcoming that's another good reason to get him is if Doctor Strange is the main focus and let's be honest uh whether they originally wanted to or not getting your most talented actor that's left in the MCU to be the focus yeah the marketable and potentially you're going to he might have one more solo movie on, on its way after that. It, yeah, Doctor Strange is is going to be the most in, one of the most important characters I would believe in the in these future movies in Secret Wars. Most pivotal. He was pivotal in the Infinity War and Endgame, you know? I think they need to get Chris Hemsworth in too, but yeah. Agreed. Really? Yeah. For I do. I mean, I I don't think he's happy with that last movie based on some of the interviews he gave. But again, marketable actors who people know because there's no more Iron Man. There's no more Captain America or, you know, uh, original Captain America, you know. Um, See, Anthony Cheeseman, that's not fair. This is what I this is what drives me nuts. And I, you're, I respect your opinion, Anthony Cheeseman. But this is like just like the uh, uh, unfair hatred towards um air david air mm. you know that the studio interfered with sam raimi on 
on Spider Man three. They forced him to put Venom in it. He didn't and then want everyone it. blames the creatives. They, they should have done whatever Sam Raimi. In, well, the the one caveat is they didn't have a choice much with Spider Man because they had to b- produce a movie within a time frame just to keep the license Sony. Ooh. But then the thing that confuses me about it is then once Sam Raimi got off. They got Mark Webb and Andrew Garfield and it waited a year anyway. But Sam Raimi's basically said, I need more time. Oh, no, that was Spider-Man 4. Never mind. Spider-Man 3, they 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 interfered with. Yeah. And he they should have let him do whatever he wants after Spider-Man And 2. then he backed out. And yeah. then they backed up a truckload of money to him. And he came back and said, okay, fine, I'll do it. And he didn't want to put Venom in it. And he did. And it was a disaster. Mm-hmm. Um. As of now, only Jonathan Majors King the Conqueror has been confirmed for the next two. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, okay. Potential cast. What about Paul Rudd? No, he's not confirmed. Paul Rudd does great in the Avengers movies. Mm. I Not so much on the Ant-Man movies. It's not his fault. That last Ant- Oh, my God. That last Ant-Man movie. I can't right, watch I just it. Just chat. So watching Army of Darkness first is not like watching Return of the Jedi first. The movies, I saw Army of Darkness before I saw the other movies. It's just, they're not that, they're not as, there's enough backstory given in Army of Darkness, I feel like, that you could get away with it and it's standalone. But I understand everybody's point. Mm-hmm. Um. Hot take. I loved Raimi's Wizard of Oz prequel. It was so good. What's that called? That sounds interesting. Is it that one I just go on VHS? Because I got Return to Oz and I never (laughs) saw it. And I'm like, is this going to be bad or not? I'm like, I took a chance. I shouldn't have bought it because it was was five bucks. All the other VHS were three. And I was like, I was like, this looks really weird. Did it have a nice box or something? Why was it more expensive? It did have a nice box, but it looked really weird on the back. Maybe that is what she thought. I don't know. Return to Oz wouldn't be a prequel, though. Okay. All right, but I'm really hype about that potential. Yeah, I love it. And I I did not realize that um, Doctor Strange 2 actually made that much. Um, That made more than Guardians 3, I think. Oh, yeah, it did. Guardians, Guardians 3 didn't was, get a billion, right? No, I think it hit like 800 something. So, yeah. Boy, that's, that's a bummer. They, they were 45 million short of a billion. That's a shame. Yeah. Um, okay. Let me see what else I have here. Oh, it's another rumor. Listen, you need to go. Before I bring this next one up, they need to go for A list talent to get the MCU back on track. I'm not saying it's not it's not salvageable, but you need to if you're gonna stay live action, you gotta pay top tier talent. I agree. And if they could get Denzel in it, it Denzel. I don't That's think a, so. You don't think Denzel would I don't do think it? he 